Welcome back. In this video, we'll be walking through what you can do within tasks and how to organize them with different views. Tasks are the fundamental building block of Rindle. They are the smaller, more tangible pieces of work that can be completed as part of a larger process, project, or checklist. Within a single task in Rindle, there's a ton you can do. You can assign them to specific individuals or multiple team members. Tag them by priority, type, or any other identifier. Add subtasks for those tasks with even more granular items for completion. Collect and manage important information with custom fields. And comment and upload files directly in a task so conversations never get lost. Another game-changing feature in Rindle is Views. Using Views in Rindle allows you to visualize your tasks in different ways so everything gets displayed in the format that best suits the work you're managing. Views are available on every board, and you can use multiple views on a single board. Let's look at this board and each of its views to see what they can do, starting with the most common, the column view. In the column view, you can visualize tasks on a board and drag and drop tasks between lists or steps in your process or project. The column view is great for process work, whether it be a multi-step process like client onboarding or through stages of a project. Let's move over to list view. Your tasks are displayed vertically from top to bottom and divided into lists that you define. You can drag and drop between lists, sort, and filter to see exactly what you need. The calendar view allows you to see all of your tasks laid out on a calendar by month, by week, or by day. You can drag and drop tasks to change the dates and open tasks to manage them. In Gantt view, you can visualize project timelines and dependencies. You can adjust the entire project timeline or specific tasks with drag and drop. If you want to take a deeper dive into anything, we have a ton of resources right here. 